Mimi ningesema hivi nijiambia Raila hivi. Raila amuke. La, Raila mahali huko. Mimi nikiwa mbunge wa Manyata na Kuru. Na pia nikiwa sipiko wa bunge na Kuru. Na kuomba atu, atutaki tena kwenda mwezi mzima mwezi mwingine kama hakuna maandamano bwana Raila hii kitu tunajua ilikuwa yako hii kitu ilikuwa yako lakini ilipwa wewe utagoja Una, unataka tunataka ujitishe maandamano sababu tunajua saa hii maandamano ikiitishwa hata mtoto Ata tamani kwenda maandamano. Chumi kwa juu. Ata ata wale watu hawaja itoka kwa nyumba watatoka. Na watu wa Mount Kenya msikie leo. Bas kana toyo sasa huyo. Watu wa maandamano wa, wa Mount Kenya. Now do you agree with the Tifa report that um, the opposition has failed the country? I know some of you will agree, some of you will not agree. Especially those who are supporting <laughs> the opposition you know will definitely not agree they will bring out arguments for me i want to be very neutral but i want to bring out a point which is very important and you will kind of agree with me at the end of uh, you know this analysis what we are talking about now first of all um the report from tifa was saying that um the opposition has failed the country just in as much as the government has failed the country now for the government it is very vivid but for the opposition you will bring out arguments you know from that report and try to look at it deeply now you know um when you go with every political dispensation you will realize that there is always kind of a threshold that politicians have to reach um even even in in their activism there is a way they study the government especially the opposition and in this case, if you talk of the likes of Raila Odinga and, and the, the, the team, they have always known how to deal with the government. They are governments that they can push further until, you know, we go to the next elections period. Like if they start opposing that government, they oppose it for the five years time frame. In fact, they study from day one a government that they can maybe try to give ease to and, and just some allow the government some breathing space. They also know the kind of government that they need to put on toes all time. And they also know the government that can make things hard for them. So they have strategies to curb all these ones. Now, when you look at Ruto's regime, Ruto's government, what do you think uh, the, the opposition actually saw Okay, to counter anything that William Ruto is bringing on board? You know, the force that the opposition actually brought in the first place when we had the intense demos, that was the strategy. And it was not supposed to last for a longer time. It was just to push the government so that they reach a common ground. Because, you know, people nowadays are not taking the works of the opposition seriously. Okay. For example, Raila Odinga. How many times uh, Raila Odinga reminded the people that, you know, I've been fighting for you, uh, but some of you are not seeing uh, the benefit of, you know, what I stand for. In fact, most of the times he has been saying that people will only realize his worth when he shall have ended his practices in politics and everything. So oppositions nowadays will not always try to put the government on toes up to the end. They will, they will only resort to strategies that are making the government to feel the pain for a shorter duration of time so that the government can maybe try to bring them on board. They talk over something and then they, they, they have their stand already. So what comes in the subsequent effect will only be like, you know, um, the opposition is just talking because they have to talk or they move on with their anti-government narratives, but it is on a low tone. Okay. That is exactly the same thing that happened. That is why we saw the, the, the rise of the bipartisan talk because the house of Azimio was so much well, uh, you know, you know, uh, established. So you will be asking where will Raila Odinga take those politicians? And now they have their interest that need to be met. They spent a lot of resources uh, campaigning. They spent a lot of time campaigning. You know, the, the elections brought out a result that the country was divided into two. You know, that means if you can exert a force, a very serious one, in the shortest time frame that the government will feel it, you will kind of have your way. That is exactly what happened. So if right now, after the, you know, uh, demonstration's time, the post-demonstration era, 
we started to see a different turn where the government is coming with punitive measures left, right, and center. But for the opposition side, they had completed exactly what they wanted, okay? To meet their interests, because they are politicians, to meet whatever they were championing for, for themselves. Anything that is coming for the people, that can be talked of, you know, later in, in, in the rallies. Sasa, mimi nataka njini mwe na kisikazi mzuri, na tuingio kwa makamupia kwenja mzuri. Makamupia kutakuwa na maneno. Tutafika furimbi, siyo? Si, siyo? Na mina jua njini mtatekia tu, siyo? Kwa hivyo, muhula mboi na kuja, mwaka ijayo, tucheze mpira, tuendeshe trazoya, Lakini baba na Eugene na Natambe wakipiga filimbi. At the same time, you know, you talk of what Raila Odinga was saying at that time, that um, right now, when people were asking why he's so silent, you know, it was like um, kuleni ujeuriwenu, okay? Because when you had time to make the right choice, you did not utilize it. When you are told where to follow, you did not follow it. When you are told what to do, you did not do it. So, Kula ujeuri wako, okay? <laughs> so right now, you know, Raila was busy um, going into deep silence and the message which was being interpreted out of that silence is that, you know, it is a time for people to stand up for themselves. If you don't stand up, no one will stand up for you. And perhaps that is what Raila Odinga was testing. So when we are moving to 2024, when they were saying that they will make a call, it is because they cannot just keep on being silent like this otherwise they will uh, you know lose all their reputation that they have had over this time and for a man like Raila Odinga when I was telling you at that time that you know sometimes he works when the public dissatisfaction has reached its extreme you know the call has reached its, its extreme so he cannot continue to remain mum he cannot continue to to remain silent and generally that is what we are going to see in 2024 that is the kind of you know political atmosphere that we are going to have in 2024 so whatever report that we had from uh, the tifa and even the info track are uh, trying to tell us that uh, you know opposition has let the country down it is true but it is always camouflaged on what does the opposition also want because when you talk of political bodies they are like human beings they have feelings they have interests they have <laughs> they have purposes they have you know they, they have objectives to meet at the end of the day so most of them you find that whenever they are eating they always consider table manners because you can't eat and talk at the same time when you are observing table manners <laughs> Para ir a